The governor of California is taking a stand against the word that, well, some find offensive when referring to immigrants in the United States. Governor Jerry Brown has signed a bill to remove the word alien from the California Labor Code to describe foreign-born workers. He says the word is now commonly considered derogatory with negative connotations. Joining me now is University of California Riverside Associate Professor Karthik Ramakrishnan. He's written extensively on immigration policy. Professor, thank you for being with me. Thank you for having me. What's your reaction to the governor's decision to have the word removed? Well, this bill is one of many bills that California has passed. Uh, this is something that me and my colleague have called the California package, and this is something that's built up over time. So um, this removing of the word alien from the labor code is part of a much larger array of laws that California has passed in the last decade or so that have really advanced what we do in terms of immigration policy in this and country. And wh what are those? What are some of the array of those laws and what impact have they had? So California was one of the first states that passed in-state tuition for undocumented immigrants, uh, and that's had a huge effect. So we have millions, about two and a half to three million undocumented immigrants in California. Many of them are very talented, especially if you look at undocumented youth. They've gone through the high school system, and in-state tuition was one of the first pieces of legislation that made it through, that made it possible for these kids to go on to college. Now you have driver's licenses for undocumented immigrants in California. It's not just for those who benefit from the president's deferred action program, but undocumented immigrants more generally. And then finally, another major piece of legislation that passed a couple of years ago was to give people who have professional degrees the ability to practice their professions, like being engineers, being doctors, being lawyers, and the like. Some will say that this is really rewarding people who broke the law and that that's not where the law should be focused. What do you say to that? Well, in many ways, what California is doing is it's, it looks like it's done with waiting for federal immigration reform. Uh, we had attempts, most notably in 2006 and 2007, that didn't pan out. There was a major push in 2013. Again, it fell short because of political dynamics in Washington. What California is doing now is just going ahead and doing whatever it can constitutionally within its powers to move on, as it were, and to take advantage of the millions of people in the, in the state uh, that have something to offer. Karthik Ramakrishnan, thank you very much for being with me. Appreciate your time. Great, thank you. Up next.